Hello friends, I am Renu Parikh. I am working as the assistant professor in Biyani group of colleges. Today I am going to take subject uh, information protection and uh, security. It is also called the cryptography on the behalf of Guru KPO. So uh, it is very important topic for the MC students, BTEC students, BC students because this topic is used in the research and in the cyber security network and uh, any organization in India or outside the India. So today's topic is uh, why we need security because we need security in many forms. We need security in our homes, we need security in our bank accounts, we need security in our offices. So when we talk about the security in the form of information, so why we need security in the form of information? Because uh, when we talk about uh, the computers, in uh, earlier computers, there is a very less uh, requirement of the security because there is uh, no importance for the data. Nowadays, the data is very important in any form and in computer, in internet or in network, the data is very important. So when we say the meaningful data, it means that is information and data means raw data, yeah, raw information, but information means the meaningful data is called information. So when we talk about the information protection and security, so it is very essential and need for security is uh, very important because we need to protect our passwords when we send an email from user A to user B, so need, uh, we need security. And when we need uh, to transfer our funds from uh, bank, then also we need the security. So for this, in the earlier uh, processing, there is only user ID and password. And the second form of security information is encoded information. Encoded information is also called the cryptography. And we will discuss it later because it is very vast. So uh, today I need, uh, I will discuss the principle of security. So what is the principle of security? This topic is very important to understand the types of attack and how to tackle the attack. And what is attack? Suppose someone is transferring an account from account A to account B and some user C attacks on the account of A and transfer the money on the behalf of A to B. Then this is the type of attack. So we will discuss what is the principle of security and how to tackle them. So we will discuss uh, there are various form of principle of security, confidentiality, authentication, integration, availability, access control. So one by one we will discuss all these forms of principle of security. So first I will discuss confidentiality. What is the meaning of confidentiality? When I will talk about the principle of confidentiality means when suppose uh, A wants to transfer 100 rupees to B and this is very confi confidential and this 100 rupees A will put into the envelope and only B can see that envelope, no one can see. So this is called the principle of confidentiality means no one can access the amount of 100 rupees except B so, uh, and suppose uh, there is some type of attack means there is a user C who is accessing the account of A. So we call this is the loss of confidentiality means A is able to access the 100 rupees. So we call this type of attack is interception means C is intercepting the amount of A. So this is called the interception attack. And the second principle is authentication. Authentication shows the identity means only user A and user B are the authenticate users and by using their user ID and password they can transfer their money to each other. So this is called the principle of authentication means proof of identity. He, there exists a user A and user B, there is no user C. So when we call is if there is any type of attack sup suppose there is also the user C and he is imposing like user A, I am user A and he attacks on the account of A. So instead of A, user C is transferring money to B or he is taking the money from B because he is imposing as user A. 
so this is called the fabrication attack fabrication means the identity is changing from user a to user c so absence of authentication user c can hack the account of a or posing as a uh, a and hack the account b also so these are the principle of security our next is principle of security is integrity so what is the concept behind this integrity means suppose uh, user a wants to transfer some money to b then no one user can modify that money and if it is modified then this is called the loss of integrity so means principle of integrity means there is no fabrication on the amount or on the information or on the message if the modification has to be done then this is called the modification attack here is a simple example suppose a wants to transfer money 100 to b and b suppose that he will get the money 100 but now here is the attacker c who modifies that money to 1000 means he is requiring he is obtaining the money uh, 1000 to b he is saying he wants money 1000 from b so this is called the loss of integrity and we also call the modification attack because the user c is modifying the messages modifying the information modifying the data so modification means all thing is modifying so this is called the loss of integrity the next principle of security is non repudiation non repudiation means suppose uh, there is user a and user b and uh, in earlier uh, account transfer phase user a transfer 100 rupees to b and now b gets the zero money and a already transferred a uh, rupees 100 to b now b is refusing that i never get that money from a means uh, this is called the non repudiation he is ignoring or he is refusing that he doesn't get any money from a so this is called the non repudiation principle and uh, this is the fourth principle of security and this is very important when we uh, uh, study about the cryptography concept then this is very important on that and next is the access control access control means who should be access what who means user and what means resources so access control principle security means uh, we have to give some rights to the user suppose uh, there is user a who can uh, read the files from the database but cannot update the files from the database so there is only right uh, of user a for reading only not writing so this is the uh, principle security means access control principle security concept and what means resources resources means suppose there is a database or there is a computer system or the servers so these type of resources who will access this is called the access control principle management system and this is two type role management and rule management role management is related to user and rule management is related to resources and in access control uh, principle security we have to make the access control matrix in which we have to enter the rights of the user means suppose uh, there is a database we have to write the is there a read permission write permission or read or write both permissions so we have to make the matrix for that principle security and the last principle security is availability availability means resources should be available to all the users means sender and receivers if they are using the resources then resources all the time should be available if they are authenticate if the messages are confidential and if there is no modification then the resources should be available to the users and if suppose uh, there is an attacker again we uh, is taking the example of c if there is an attacker c and who access all the resources between the a and b then no one means a and b will not get the resources then this type of attack is called the interruption attack because user c is interrupting the resources of user a and b so these are the topics that we have covered in next lecture i will discuss about the types of attacks and this is very important if you like this video then please like share and subscribe on our guru kpu channel